Okay, so um, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't be there today, but I am going to help you with multiplication of fractions. So we are going to start out with um, two fractions, such as six sevenths times three fourths. Multiplying with fractions is extremely simple. You simply multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So six times three is 18, and seven times four is 28. The next step is you would see if you can simplify them at all. Um, both 18 and 28 can be divided by two. So 18 divided by two is nine, and 28 divided by two would be 14. So our final answer will be 9 fourteenths. Um, another way to approach this problem is you can look at um, diagonally numbers um, and see if there's anything that both of them can be divided for. It kind of is doing your simplification in advance. So for instance, I can see that um, circled in the green is seven and three. There's nothing that both of them can be divided by, but both six and four can be divided by two. Six divided by two is three, and four divided by two is two. And then you can multiply across. Three times three is nine. Seven times two is 14. And there's your final answer. Same answer both ways, just um, a different way of doing it. Um, sometimes simplifying in advance can be easier than simplifying with your end numbers because they're rather large. Now, sometimes we're going to be multiplying and there's going to be negatives involved. So you might have a half times negative uh, two fifths. If you multiply straight across the top, one times two is two and two times five is 10. Um, the answer is going to be negative because we use the same rules that we did previously. If there's one number that's negative, the answer is negative. If there's two negatives, they make a positive and two positives makes a positive. Again, I kind of boil that down to just one rule. If there's one negative, the answer is negative. All right, um, this can be simplified. Both the top and bottom can be divided by two, which would be equal to negative one fifth. Okay, um, or if you had done the pre simplification way of doing it, you would see that two and negative two can both be divided by two, making this one and making this negative one. All right, so one times negative one is negative one and one times five is five. Again, ending up with the same answer. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, I tend to put the negative sign with the numerator. You might see it also sometimes down here. I don't like to put it down there. Um, I feel like it kind of blends in with the um, fraction symbol, so I tend to put it up with the numerator, um, but that's just me. So you'll, you'll see it both ways. So I'm gonna do two more practice problems. Um, the top one, negative two fifths times positive three sevenths. So um, I'm gonna multiply across the top, two times three is six, and then multiply across the bottom, five times seven is 35. There's only one negative, so the answer is negative. So negative six thirty-fifths. Six and 35 have nothing in common that they can both be divided by, so it is simplified, and that is our final answer. Now, if I come down here to the bottom problem, um, I'm going to, again, multiply across the top. Six times one is six, and seven times three is 21. And since there are two negatives, it's actually going to be a positive answer. So I'm going to leave it positive. Um, now, six and 21 can both be divided by three. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. So my final answer, answer here is a positive 2 sevenths. Finally, we're going to talk about 
when we're adding, or sorry, not adding, multiplying mixed numbers. So if I was to give you a problem such as 2 and 1 fourth times 1 and 2 fifths, I would actually first turn both of these into improper fractions. Um, I keep repeating to you that improper fractions are more useful and more helpful when we're dealing with more um, advanced math and mixed numbers come in less handy. This would be an example right here. Um, in order to solve this problem, leaving it as mixed numbers requires doing a lot of extra legwork. It's simply much faster, more efficient, if you simply turn both of them into an improper fraction. So um, to do that, I multiply the whole number times the denominator and add the numerator. So two times four is eight plus one is nine, and the denominator stays the same, times uh, one times five is five plus two is seven. So we've got nine fourths times seven fifths. And then we just multiply across the top like we've been doing. So nine times seven is 63. And four times five is going to be 20. And we can leave it like that. We do not need to turn it from an improper fraction into a mixed number. That is not part of simplifying. Simplifying is simply asking, is there anything that both the top and bottom can be divided by? So here we have a mixed number times a whole number. I also wanted to review what we do when we've got whole numbers. So to turn any whole number into a fraction, you simply put it over one. So this is gonna become five over one. And then to turn three and a half into an improper fraction, three times two is six plus one is seven. So this is seven halves. All right, seven times five would be 35. And two times one is two. And there's nothing that both 35 and two can be divided by. So this is our final answer. All right, now you've got some practice problems to solve. If you have questions or anything seems unclear, write it down so that when I return tomorrow, we can discuss it. Thank you. Hope you have a good evening, or sorry, hope you have a good day. Behave well for the substitute. She will leave me notes if she has issues.